Hey guys, it's D Man Ten here, and today um I'll just be showing you that uh how to downgrade basically um from 4.0 to 3.1.2. Um, I had trouble with this because uh I previously jailbroken on the 4.0 firmware on my uh iPod Touch 2G, and um what I uh what I did was I actually deleted iTunes completely from my Mac computer. Um, so what I did was I opened up, uh, I have this application on my computer called App Zapper. What App Zapper does, I'll put this in the description for you guys to download. Um, you drag whatever folder, uh, whatever, um, app you want in here and deletes everything, the program and everything attached to it and all the files attached to it. So if you drag iTunes into here, iTunes, QuickTime, and all the files that are connected to iTunes, except for music and movies and stuff like that, will be deleted. So, that's what I did, and then um, I downloaded the firmware that, for my device, so the iPod 2G, and um, after that, I uh, reinstalled iTunes, and um, I don't know if this would help you guys, but I had trouble downgrading because my... Uh, my SH, SH files were already updated, so I don't know if this will work for you guys, but it worked for me. So what you're going to do is, for uh, for Max, you're going to go to Option, Restore, and it's going to open up a folder for you, and you're going to find your firmware. So mine's in jailbreak stuff. I made a folder, and you would click that, and then click Choose. But I'm not going to do that, because I'm already downgraded. But, um, for Windows users, you're going to hold down Shift, and then Restore, and, um, you're going to find your firmware that way. And, uh, just keep, keep giving it a couple tries, and if your iPod gets stuck in recovery or DFU mode, restore it back up to 4.0, and try again. Um, eventually it will work. Um, sometimes it gets, like... Uh, like stuck in DFU mode. Now there's another application called, um, yeah, Recboot. I have it actually. Recboot. What Recboot does is you open this and this puts it in recovery mode for you. So when you're, um, when you're uh, downgrading, uh, and you select your firmware, when iTunes it says, uh, this device has been discovered in recovery mode, you enter, uh, you're in recovery mode then you choose the firmware that um, you want to downgrade to and that usually helps with uh, downgrading but um, so if you guys get stuck when it's uh, refreshing in 3.1.2 from 4.0 you open up Recboot exit only and exit recovery mode and what that does it, it, it boots you out of recovery mode so you can go back to the 3.1.2. Apple has like a lock on uh, downgrading because um, they know something's up. Like you don't, they don't want you downgrading. They want you on the latest firmware, so they make their all, they make their money and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and another thing, if you guys are interested in jailbreaking your devices, I suggest going down the 3.1.2 and saving your SH SH files. So. Because Apple's going to be releasing a new firmware um, soon. Today is July 21st. Um, July 20th going to... <clears throat> excuse me. July 21st. And um, what they're going to do is... They're going to release a firmware 4.1. And what 4.1 is going to do is not let you... Uh, allow you to save your SH, SH files. So you can't downgrade anymore. If you wanted to jailbreak on the uh, previous... Uh, firmware. So what I did, I I was pre pre wow previously jailbroken on 4.0, on um, my iPod 2G, non MC, and um, I realized you can't save your SH SH blobs, but now you can, supposedly. So I'm gonna try that. But um yeah, so I downgraded. And I'll show you guys. I'm on 3.1.2. It says it right here, but. You guys obviously won't believe me. It's plugged into my computer, so about and right here. Just don't want to show you my uh, serial number. And right here it says um, 3.1.2. So um, yeah. So if you guys uh, 
what you call it. Um, if you guys need any help um, downgrading, just leave me a comment below, and I will help you out. Um, it just took a couple of tries for me, I think, but I deleted iTunes all together, and I reinstalled it, and it worked on the first try. I don't know, it was weird for me. But um, in the description, I'll leave um, downloads for Recboot, App, uh, App Zapper, and... Um, and firmware files. So, um, if you like this video, please thumbs up and comment. And uh, if you guys have any trouble, and uh, let me know how uh, how it turns out for you guys. Thanks a lot, and have a nice day.